Right, we're just going to temporarily install the head steady bracket. And this is uh, more just so I can see that things are lining up as they're meant to be. Right, they're just like lightly finger tight. As you can see, there's still a bit of movement in that. I mean, washers have dropped into the hole on the paint, basically, where the washers were sat before I took the engine apart. So, I'll just nip around the other side of the bike and feed the, the steady bar through. Nip things up, just not tight, tight, just nipped up. And then nip the bolts up on the other side of that brace. Now, basically, as you saw there, everything just went into place a little bit of a shove but when I took it out it was a little bit of a shove to come out so now what I'll do is I'll tighten the four bolts that bolt the gearbox to the engine and then I'll tighten the two front mounting bolts uh, and then I'll be taking this back off temporary uh, you'll see what the crack is there when I come back to it so I'll knock it off for now Right, I'm going to tighten these uh, <coughs> bolts up that bolt the gearbox to the engine. And the torque settings for these is like 35 foot pound. <coughs> but you'll find, unless you've got like crow's foot uh, attachments, you can't just get a socket on and your torque wrench. So basically, I just get these as tight as I can with a spanner. 
to do it in sequence and you start on the like the drive side the primary side start with the bottom bolt and just tighten that up and then you do the top cam side just tighten that up and then the bottom on the same side and then the top on the opposite side and just get them as tight as you can and what we'll do next is uh, we'll tighten the front mounting bolts up and, uh, and then we'll go from there so I'll knock you off a sec and move you over a bit right we'll tighten these front bolts up now these uh, the front bolts tighten up to 38 foot pound or uh, 51 newton meters so, let's get your spanner on it. Torque wrench is set underneath. Right, and that's your fronts tightened up. Right, knock you off again. Right, I'm going to tighten these, uh, the engine mounting, well, the stabiliser link. I'm going to tighten the bolts on these and they tighten up to 30 newton meters right and I've also checked I said I was going to take all the uh, the head steady back off uh, the reason I said that is because when I start putting all the wires and stuff back on uh, the last motor that I did, which to be fair was a soft tail, um, the top stabiliser link was quite a, it was in the way with a few of the bits of wiring and that's why I was saying I'll take that all back off but I've had a bit of a look on this one and it seems to be, it doesn't seem to be as if it's going to be an issue so I'll go ahead and tighten all this lot up so I'll just knock you off and reposition you. Right, I'll tighten the stabiliser links up first, the bolts on the stabiliser links are there. And they're just the same as the, the front one, 30 newton metres. Right, and the uh, the bolts into the into the head. They're uh, fifty four newton meters. So I'll just adjust my uh, torque wrench. Mm. 
and you need a universal joint on this back one because you can't get the the uh, the bar straight down because of the frame. Right, and that's your your engine. It's pretty now solid. So, as I've never adjusted anything, the stabilizer links are where they were before I took it to bits. Um, everything lined up when I put it all back in. Which, uh, I mean, I will do some checks once I get the back wheel and that back in. But uh, everything should be still in line, so there shouldn't be any alignment issues. So, also, maybe I should have pointed out, if you've got your bike on a stand, just see if I can focus this in a bit better. When I put the engine in, I dropped the stand right down so the front wheel was sitting on the floor. Um, obviously for two reasons one the weight of the engine going in to the frame if if the frame had moved on the stand uh, and I hadn't realized it could overbalance it which would tip the frame off the front of the stand uh, although I knew it hadn't moved um, but the second reason and really the main reason is obviously it's lower so it's easier to lift your motor into place uh, motors uh, it is heavy-ish it's, it's I don't know 75 80 K something like that so you just got to be a bit careful when you're lifting it in and out um, right obviously the, the I've lifted it all back up now so the next thing I'm gonna like get the these wires fed through to where they should be. I'm not going to connect them up yet. Um, I need to tighten uh, the pulley on the gearbox, so I'll have to sort out a tool to hold that while I tighten it up. Um, I'll put a plug a few wires in here and there, and. Uh, well, we'll just basically carry on and get it together. Right, I'll knock you off for now. Right, we're going to tighten the, the lock nut. Well, the nut on the on the drive pulley. Now, what I've done here is this: the belt that's going around the pulley is the old belt. Uh, I've put it around tight and then I've clamped it to the swing arm back here and um, that's the new belt there which is nice and free do not do this to a belt you're going to use it this will knacker the belt um, right anyways basically you're going to be getting your on the back edge of the bolt where it's going to tighten up against the pulley I've just put a light coating of oil and then on the threads I'm going to just put a bit of uh, high strength Loctite because obviously you don't want this this nut coming loose right the feed Feed it in, careful not to touch your shaft. And remember it's a left hand thread, so to tighten it, it's uh, counterclockwise. Just 
So get it nipped up, get your socket on. Right, the torque setting for this is 81 newton meters, but after you've torqued it, you then turn it so many degrees in between 35 and 45 degrees. Right, and that's that torqued 81 newton meters or just have a look at my torque wrench 60 foot pound. Right, now when you come to to the next bit you can mark you can put marks on or you can put your your plate on, have a look where it's at and if you sort of move that right if I tighten that up now it would bring these holes in line with the other hole maybe just a little bit more and that that will be less than 45 degrees but it will be more than 35 so you turn it so far and keep checking it and basically when you've got your everything lining up then you put your locking plate on right and as I thought that would happen because I didn't have it on that brilliantly I've just knocked my clamp off so I'll just reposition this clamp. I had it too far forward on the swing arm. So I'll just knock it off a sec and reposition it in a better place and then we'll come back to it. Right, I've repositioned the clamp. Hopefully it'll hold on this time. Well, I did give this a bit of a turn off camera when I was when I'd reset it. Right, it doesn't actually need to go that far now. Maybe another maybe another ten degrees. Right, I'll just knock you off a second. I'm just going to get a bar on this clamp to get it tightened up a bit more. Right, we'll try again and see if we can get this last 10 degrees. Right, it needs to just go a little bit, but when I've tightened my clamp up, I forgot to take the pressure up on the belt. So I think what I'll do is, I know that it only wants to move a tiny little bit, so I think I'll just set the uh, ratchet gun up.
горит. Didn't line up with the one, the ones where the hole, the bolts were originally, but it's lining up with the other set. So the next step then is just unplug this gun. Get my blue lock tight. Put a bit of blue Loctite on these. Just get them nice and tight, but don't go over the top because you will strip the threads. Right, I'm just take this uh, clamp off that didn't do its job very well. You pull it tightened up and locked in place. So from there we'll probably start putting some wires on. So I'll knock you off for now. Right we're going to start by putting voltage regulator back on. So we'll just get these uh, nuts off. side there's also a, a clip on this side a piece of clip for your shove that out the way for a minute right, grab the Voltage regulator. Right, you want to feed your wires back down through your frame. Position it over the, the studs that are sticking through. And before I go any further. Crank position sensor plug back through. Right, and then drop lift the uh, the wire above the voltage regulator leg on that side. Right, 
make sure it's sitting all the way down. Clip in the right place. Uh, underneath your voltage regulator you've got your your wiring for your for your plug and there's a clip up on the top just make sure that that's clear so that when you plug your crank position sensor back in it doesn't uh, get stuck To it, I've got a, a cable tied to put around there first. Right, before we carry on with that one, I'll knock you off and move you, and we'll get the the uh, the wiring plugged in. <laughs> 